speak student. Solving exponential equations algebraically. I'll ash them up. All right. Well, before we jump into solving exponential equations, we should probably make sure we know how to pick one out of a lineup. An exponential function will usually be of the form f of x equals b to the x power, or cb to the x power, where c is the coefficient. This thing right here. All right. If b, our base, is greater than 1, and we're multiplying it by itself x number of times, it's going to keep getting bigger, in which case we have a growing function. If, on the other hand, it's smaller than 1, then multiplying it by itself is just going to keep shrinking, resulting in a decaying function. Yeah, might, might want to pop in a couple of those nose plugs. All right, now that we know what these equations look like and what their exponents do to them, we're ready to start solving. So if we've got an exponential equation like 7 to the x power equals 7 to the y minus 3 power, well, then we can thank our lucky stars because this one's a snap. If the two sides are equal and the bases are the same, then the two exponents must be equal as well, meaning that x equals y minus 3. Boom. Done. If the bases are not the same but have a common denominator, like with this equation, then we can fiddle with them until they do have the same base. In this case, we can write 16 as 4 squared, then just take that 2 exponent and distribute it through the original exponent, which gives us 4 to the power of 4x plus 12. Now both sides have 4 for a base, so 4x plus 12 equals 5x. Subtract 4x from both sides, and x equals 12. And that's pretty much the gist of it. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.